Hello robotics teams. Uh, I thought I'd do a quick video on April tags and what they are. Um, so you're going to have to stare at my ugly face here for a second. But um, So here I've got some code that's using um, something called OpenCV and the April tag library. And so here I'm starting a capture of device zero, which happens to be my web camera. And then I'm creating an April tag detector. So then, um, well, that um, if the, the video is good and we should run, then we're going to get an image from OpenCV, which is from the web camera. Then we're going to run the April tag detector on a grayscale image, a black and white image. Um, we're going to print out those detections, so you'll see them down here. And then we're going to loop through each detection, and we're going to put a little red box around the detection, and then the number of the of the tag that we've detected. So if we look at the game field here, here's all the different April tags that are, that are around the field. So for example, ID4 is above the uh, speaker, and ID7 is above the other speaker. And so I'm going to run this little demo program, get to look at my ugly face. Okay, so now I'm going to hold up an April tag, and we can see where we've detected it, and this is April tag 4. And so we can track the center of this thing. So if you look down here, you'll see the center position here. So the first number is the, the x and the y position, so we go from a small value over to the right to a large value over to the left and this is based on this number is based on how many pixels across we have the second number is the height so for up top we're going to have a small number and if we go down to the bottom we're going to have a big number and so what we can do then is if we have a camera that can detect the april tag we know then you know to launch our our little note we need to center the robot right so we can drive the robot to the center like this and so, you know, we can detect multiple April tags in our field of view. So here we can see, you know, we've got tag 7 and tag 4. These just happen to be the tags for, um, you know, the two speakers. Um, but, you know, you can see that if there's multiple tags around here. The other thing um, that it gives you, and I, I guess I haven't quite uh, figured out what numbers it is, but it'll give you the distance to the target. So once again, let's say we're, we're back here and we have a note. Uh, we know that we need to rotate this way to center our robot, and then this can tell us the distance to that target. So if we figure out like an optimal distance, we could have some notification to the drivers that you know, you know, you could have a button to auto center the robot, and then maybe another button to drive the robot into the right position on the field. So, anyways, that's April takes um, the uh, line like cameras that we have have built-in code to support reading April tags. So what I did here is very similar to what we'll do on the limelight cameras if we use April tags, but that's all I had.